Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I'll be sharing with you a small makeup haul of what I bought in the month of July. So if you like makeup hauls, just keep on watching. So this haul is really more like two weeks worth of stuff that I bought this month because I wasn't planning on filming a video so I have no idea what I bought in the beginning of the month. But this is more of what I bought towards the end of the month. July is my birthday month so I used that excuse to buy quite a lot of makeup this month but it's gonna be a small video because i have a couple things here so yeah so i'm gonna start with what i bought from beauty bay which i bought three fizzy art palettes so i have the petite three here which looks like this and i bought this was the main reason why i ordered um i wanted to get the choo choo palette which is limited edition and i know this is the last time they're going to restock it and they're not going to sell it anymore after this from what i've heard so i got my hands on it and then i bought the april 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 continue april continue something like that sorry <laughs> call it the peach palette bought this one i know vizier came out with two new palettes midsummer and Solstice, I do want to order those pads, but I, I'm hoping that they come to Sephora. But if they don't, I'm just going to order it from their site because so far I really enjoy Busy Arts palette. I have more in my room, but I just wanted to show you what I bought this month, which were these three palettes. Then I ordered the new palettes from Dose of Color. I have the Cutting Edge and the Smoky Soiree. I, so, soiree. Well, I cannot talk today. But yeah, I did um, film a swatching video on these palettes. So if you guys wanted to see a swatching video, you could check it out in my channel. This is the cutting edge one. So yeah, so I got those two palettes from Dose of Color. From Ulta, I bought quite a lot this month. But I got this foundation from Juvia's Place, the I Am Magic velvety matte foundation this is a foundation i'm wearing today and i did not like it at all like i think it's too light for me i don't know <laughs> something is wrong with it and i also got the eye magic concealer in 22 i do like the concealer more than i like the foundation but yeah i need to stop ordering foundation for online also from Ulta, i got the highlighter super chalk cheek highlighter from colourpop in the shade monster which is like a nice pink pink to purple i mean you can't see that the lights are too bright here but yeah i got this one i also got the masquerade mini palette i saw amy loves makeup feature this palette in her um what was that video ranking juvia's place palette i have a lot of juvia's place palette as well but i, I didn't have this one and i i mostly bought it for the purples but i did a look with this one i have to look up on my instagram so if you guys would like to follow me on instagram i'll leave it down below but yeah i use this purple shade molly and these i don't think i don't think this palette has a lot of dark shades like if i want to create a look with this one like i need like a darker but either way, my, I enjoy the look I made with this, so I can't wait to continue to play with this a little more. I also have the, a video on all these palettes, but I bought the Sweep Shot Collection from BH Cosmetic. I bought four of them. So I have this palette on today. I used um, this shade just on my crease, and I have uh, like a highlighter in my, in my eye somewhere. But yeah, so I got this one. I also have swatching videos on these palettes, so if you guys want to see what they look like swatched, check it out on my page somewhere but yeah I use this palette as well I have a look and it's on my Instagram um, I also have the sweet cotton candy one and the orange sorbet sorry I put it back in the packaging but yeah I want to do a, a look with this palette I just haven't gotten a chance so hopefully I get the chance tomorrow but yeah this is the orange sorbet one and then is the cotton candy one which is my favorite because i love purples and pinks but yeah so I, I bought these pads at ulta also from ulta i bought um buxom lipsticks they came out with the 90s collection and they also came out with a fall one i have the 
spiced apple cider this smells like this actually smells like apples which is nice like little fall this is like a their fall collection but yeah so i have fly girl which is what i'm wearing today on my lips it's like a little nice little beige nude um heartthrob it's like a darker a little bit darker and then um color is this supermodel which is more like a pink nude pinking out pink brownish nude yeah that's what that's what i ordered from ulta so i, I bought these three lipsticks from Propa beauty they're an indie brand and they're black owned so i have the shade finesse which is my favorite i've used this one three times already so yeah this is finesse this is the lightest one of the three that i have and i have pictures which is like a little bit darker than that one and then i have closer closer which is like the darkest one that i have but yeah this is they're a cute lipstick this is the first launch that they made and so far i'm really impressed i can't wait for them to come out with more stuff or more shades and different colors but yeah i also bought the moif collection from from juvia's place these are from their nude collection um so i have the moifs this these cost me two dollars for these for the four bundle they have two other bundles which is in peach and the nude one but yeah i have the mauve ones which is this mauve movement we have kebby this one is 2020 which is my favorite and chick i do want to get two of the new ones which i think the names were um Oh, I forgot the names for the two new ones that I want. I think it's Mover or something like that. And then I do want two of the peach ones, which is me and Libra. So I want to get those, but I'm going to wait until they go on Ulta. I heard they're, going, they're coming to Ulta on September. So I'm just going to wait till September. Hopefully they do come to Ulta. So I'll order those other four lipsticks. But yeah. I made an order on Kaleidos because I heard they were discontinuing this palette. I mean, I know they were um, limited edition, but I did not want to miss out on not owning this palette because i know the first palette everybody that has bought it has raved about it and i did not buy the first palette so i did not want to miss out on a good palette and i do own all of these palettes so i made i ordered this one and i never had this one so i just wanted to have the whole collection so i ordered these two palettes i love kaleidos kaleidos is also an indie brand and i do support a lot of indie brands because I like the, I like what they're doing. I like colors, even though my eyes are very new today. But I do love colors, and I do love supporting indie brands. So, yeah. So here's an here's another indie brand that I bought from. This is Cara Beauty. So I bought the Purple Haze palette. I did. I also did a swatching video on on these palettes. So if you guys were interested been seeing some swatches you can check it out on my channel and i bought the orange pop one i i did want to order their summer collection but they were sold out so i just ended up getting these and then last but not least i did make an order in elf and i did do a video on the other stuff but i bought these palette i made a look with these it's on my instagram it was like a very pastel -y, um bluish greenish look i use like this little quad over here like these little six shades over here so yeah if you guys want to see the look i did you guys can follow me on instagram and then i made a video on these about the little bite-sized face duo palettes so here we have um white peach so if you guys want to see these little palette swatch and my thoughts you can check it out on somewhere on my channel <laughs> I think it was the last the last video I posted but yeah this one is spiced apple it's a little nice little little blushes oh no damn it you hate when you dig your nails into stuff Ugh. this one is what leech poor leech this is the second time I dig my nail in this shade it's always the highlighter <laughs> There's leech. Highlighter for leech. <laughs> but yeah. And then watermelon. That's what watermelon looks 
So those are all the things I bought this month. Um, I do have the more, the new Morphe um, 35C palette coming my way, so I will be doing a swatching video. Probably be up by Friday because I'm getting that package hopefully by Thursday, so there should be a swatching video on Friday. Um, I do plan on getting those Vizier, the new Vizier palettes that they're coming out with. Hopefully they come to the Sephora, but if not, I will be ordering them on their site. I did want the new Artemis palette from Chop Alter Ego. But for some reason, my payment did not go through. So that's a sign that I need to cool it down. <laughs> but yeah, so um, comment down below what makeup products you products want, you want or you have purchased or you're planning on purchasing what makeup products you did not want like or did not catch your attention. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching.